Hi everyone, Teddy Baldessar with teddybaldessar.com. In this video, we're looking at one of my personal favorite watches from Longines, a watch that I also own, the Longines Heritage Classic Sector. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldessar.com, as an authorized dealer. So in this video, we'll do a deep dive of this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end, but also throughout this video, if you have further questions, wanna learn more, purchase the watch, check out the link in the description to the product page down below. But guys, let's jump into the video, take a closer look at this watch. So to begin here, Longines was founded back in 1832 in Switzerland and is a brand with an intriguing position within the Swatch Group's mighty assembly of brands. On the one hand, Longines is one of the most prominent producers of watches in the world with annual sales eclipsing the stratospheric $1 billion mark, largely as a product of the brand's acceptance within the mass market. But on the other hand, Longines has, especially in recent years, produced a number of watches that feel primed to invigorate the brand's reputation among enthusiasts specifically, often leaning into its impressive archive in the process. And one of my favorite examples of this, and perhaps my favorite example as an owner of this piece, is the Heritage Classic Sector, a watch that pairs the strong influence of history and tradition with a modern movement produced exclusively for Longines. So taking a look at the Heritage Classic Sector on the wrist, we have a set of dimensions that is clearly inspired by the past, but updated to reflect modern wearing standards, with a 38.5 millimeter diameter and a 10.9 millimeter thickness, some of which stems from the prominently domed sapphire crystal. Lug to lug is a tad longer for the diameter at 47 millimeters, but wears well thanks to the sharply downswept lugs with spring bar holes that are especially well positioned, allowing the strap to sit slightly higher than usual. Despite what is a dressier execution, the sector leans into fine linear brushing on the entire case, with only a hit of polish taking place on the three o'clock push-pull crown and the case back. As a note, this model is only rated for 30 meters of water resistance, which is not rare for a dress-oriented watch, but I can't help but wonder what this model family might look like or just be capable of with a higher resistance to water. Set between 19 millimeter lugs, the sector leans into the black calfskin strap here that has some padded finish to it. Not exceptional, but does work well with the design in terms of what is being presented with the dial. Now beneath the crystal, which is treated with an anti-reflective coating on its underside, we have one of the cleanest sector dial designs on the market at the moment in my opinion, and perhaps my favorite, following a basic design format established by Longines in the first half of the 20th century. Of the many brands making sector dials in the 1930s and 40s, Longines was among the best, with its modern interpretation upholding the standard as well. By balancing a range of textures, including the fine circular grain near the simple printed minute track, with a more matte granular execution in the dial center that also features a printed crosshair motif. The Heritage Classic Sector presents a powerful lesson in the art of symmetry, minimalism, and restraint in watch design. Dial text and graphical elements are carried out by the thickly applied and contrasted printing, paired with the simple stick hands that are perhaps not the most legible option in the world, but do the job well enough for younger eyes. There is no date function to speak of here, and only the neatly integrated small seconds register breaks up the minimalist dial format. Turning the sector over, we have a polished snap on case back engraved with the EFCO signature, a reference to a former brand executive leader of the mid 1800s that was responsible for the brand's rise. Underneath that though, we have the impressive at a caliber produced in collaboration with Longines, the L893, a highly modified caliber based on the Etta 2892. So as many of you probably know, both Longines and Etta are wholly owned by the Swatch Group, a relationship that has produced a series of special calibers only used by Longines, meaning these movements aren't technically in-house, but there are many other brands out there that will probably say and claim that this would be in-house if they were under the same circumstance. But safe to say these are definitely more special than your average of Bosch caliber. The L893 operates at a seldom seen 3.5 hertz or 25,200 vibrations per hour with an extended power reserve of 72 hours and features an upgraded balance assembly and uses silicium instead to limit magnetic interference. Longines movements are one of the points that really allows them to separate within the competition and range in which they represent. This one was also running quite well, running at plus two to plus three seconds a day when testing across five different positions, despite this one not being a certified chronometer, still very well done. So just to unpack here, 25,200 vibrations per hour, 3.5 hertz. It does feature hacking and hand winding, hacking stop in the second hand when you pull the crown to the farthest position, and a power reserve of 72 hours. So now to unpack this piece, I'll speak a little bit more as an owner of this watch as well, and just some of my things to consider if somebody's looking in the direction of this watch. First off, I adore this watch. This watch is simply beautiful to look at. I love the symmetry and what it's going for. But some things that might turn some people off, one will be the 19 millimeter lugs. I do think that 
for what this watch represents and the versatility that it brings forth to not have the maximum versatility to match with say like 20 millimeters, 18 millimeters, I think is a tad bit of a bummer. But once you get the right strap pairing on this watch, it is absolutely a joy to wear. I also would like to have Longines make this available with the bracelet like they did with the black sector version. So that is another thing that I think maybe some people will point out. Uh, lug to lug, a little bit long, but it wears pretty true to size. I don't think you have to worry about this with a smaller wrist. It still has good presence. Not overly thin also, but in totality, I think the dimension set on the wrist is a joy to wear. But now let's talk about some of the pros and why I adore this watch. First off, the design is simply spectacular. You have this very fine grain finish on the central surface. You have also the circular finish on the, the uh, sub seconds. And then you have more of this metallic finish on the outer ring to form that sector. It's just a beautiful thing to look at with the blue hands, the perfect symmetry, no date. I think it's probably the best looking sector on the market under $5,000 without question. And I would say anything below it, it just doesn't feel like it can compete the same way with this watch. I think this is simply the most beautiful sector that you can find for the money. Also the movement on the inside, 72 hour power reserve, 3.5 Hertz. This watch is also versatile as can be. This is one that can be both dressed up, but also dressed down. There's a lot of watches out there that they don't have the same level of flexibility. The strap will transform how this watch will wear. So simply put, I love this watch. I think if you are somebody that enjoys the sector design, which isn't everybody, but if you like this look, I think you'll be hard pressed to find a watch that will do it better than this for the dollar amount. All right, guys, well, that's all we have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Really would appreciate that. That does help out the channel and lets you stay informed when we release new content. Also, if you like what you saw here from the watch here today, uh, definitely check it out on teddybaldesser.com. It'll be in the description down below. Teddybaldesser.com is an authorized dealer of over 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. And it helps with us just continuing to make this content, helping to help foster this new generation of watch enthusiasts at least that's my goal. So any purchase does help as well. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.